Now, Mr. Church hasn't done much that I can find, at least, in the way of rape, physical assault, making fun of autistics, or theft, topics which seem most commonly used to justify an exposed video. However, Leonard, or if you prefer, Harlan, still has one glaring flaw. He is an absolute fucking moron. He doesn't do any research at all, and when there's no research to be done, he sews off some stunning displays of not thinking at all. You know how I know this? His catchphrase of stop being a whiny, pedantic little bitch. Lovely, Mr. Church, how you've never actually researched the meaning of a pedant. It means someone who is overly concerned with accuracy to the point of being petty. What it doesn't mean is somebody who is overly concerned with one topic and will argue over nothing. However, they might intersect. What you're thinking of is a denizen of the internet such as yourself. So, let's go over some of the things he says and really dissect all of the times he's made a total ass of himself to the public. Let's start off with his most glaring display of idiocy. Smoking weed, filming it, and putting it on the internet. Tell me, Mr. Church, why you thought that this was a good idea. I don't really care if you smoke weed. It's your body and you can do whatever you want with it. And it's not even legal anymore. But do you know what it does do? Make you less attractive to your employers. Because when employers see someone smoking weed, they see a lazy stupid bum who couldn't hold down a job properly. Mr. Church, the reason you lost your job is simple. Smoking weed, filming it, and putting it on the internet. Whatever possessed you to act on this stunning display of stupidity, boss, that while you didn't... Clearly showed your boss that while you did have giant balls in order to go through with your whims, you smoked pot and at the time that was still illegal in the state of California. Whatever possessed you to act on the stunning display of stupidity clearly showed your boss that while you did have giant balls in order to go through with your whims, you smoked pot and at the time, and at the time that was still illegal in the state of California. And at the time, that was still illegal in the state of California where you live. Most people don't like to have criminals on their workforce, Mr. Church. And about your job. You claim that you were a scientist with an IQ of 168, if I remember correctly, that is. But the whole point of being a scientist is being able to think outside the box. And even inside the box, it's not that hard to see the negative repercussions of smoking weed, filming it, and putting it on the internet. 168 IQ is higher than Albert Einstein. So I highly doubt that it's true when you lost your job at a research place because any research place would kill for that. Unless, of course, you lied and you really worked for, say, a cosmetics company who need research on their products and had an IQ closer to 102. But that's not science, that's chemistry. I'll... I'm willing to bet that you were not a scientist at all, but a chemist. And there are completely different jobs with completely different layers with completely different varying levels of difficulty. I can do chemistry and I can barely be considered intelligent. It's embarrassing really, Mr. Church. Oh, you can do that. Now, for the more minor grapes, a montage of his various constant mistakes. Number one, socialism being taxpayer dollars. No, that no, that's public property. Socialism isn't public property, it's state regulated industry. And we already have state-regulated industries somewhat. Honestly, a trip to dictionary.com would save you embarrassment on this one. Number two, George Miller's name. Mr. Church, this one is just stupid. First off, you really need to do at least some level of research in your videos. Preferably the same day you record them. His name is George Miller, Mr. Church. And Mr. Miller's name isn't weird considering he's Australian. Granted, Japanese Australian, but still, the name the name George Miller makes more sense than Satoshi Miller, considering he's you know Australian. This one here is this one is here because it really shows the whole thing about his videos. They're unscripted, unresearched, and it shows you and it shows every second. It really says a lot about you when you can sum up your quality of videos with a mistake you left in with a mistake you left in. Number three. Weed has no adverse effects. Aside from, you know, losing your job, 
It's legal now in California, but smoking weed is still a valid reason employers can fire you. Even worse is filming it and putting it on the internet where all possible employers can see it, meaning your job chances are basically dead now, Mr. Church. Number four, YouTube can die. YouTube can't die. You're a moron for believing this. People have tried and the website dies off. Besides, there's not close to enough people actually doing something about it. Even if PewDiePie, the largest English-speaking YouTuber, told his audience to scram and left himself, which don't make me laugh, not only are there other huge, le not only are there other huge YouTubers with mostly non-interlapping fan bases, but there's also 30 plus other languages of YouTube that all don't really have, that all don't really do the whole alternative thing. Plus, YouTube is really the only place with monetization. People know about YouTube alternatives, it's just that nobody aside from select 200, 300 people, 100 of which are Sega SG's alternate accounts, actually give enough of a fig to go out of their way. As long as only zero, as long as only not point zero 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 eleven percent of people actually care, nobody can do a thing. Nobody can do a thing. Number five, the N word is a perfectly not really acceptable. Look, I don't like the word, okay? I don't even like it when black people use it. But since Mr. Church has been using it quite aggressively, I might as well mention it. The word did not derive from the word did not derive from stupid person, and there is no trace to any language that assigns its sister words that meaning that did not come from slavery. It may have created a tertiary definition of stupid may have created a tertiary definition of stupid person, but it did not come from it. It came from the Latin word for black, nigrum, partially through Castilian, partially through French, and partially through the African country of Niger, where some of the slaves may have come from. Number six, English is based off Latin. If you would have paid attention to anyone ever, you would have known this not to be the case. English is a Germanic language, but through various conquests over the years, has morphed into its own separate thing. The Latinate words you hear in English, such as, for example, supervise and ocular, were there because in the year 1066, the French invaded England and won, and French was spoken in high courts for quite a while. This is, by the way, part of the reason that the French and English hate each other today. Because French was a hot new language, it was the language anyone, it was the language anyone who could afford to learn learned. So, really, the next time you claim Mr. Church is your source, I'm going to kick you in the dick. Unfortunately, I didn't get any comments last time, so I can't tell you the winner. Maybe this time, but it's not like Mr. Church is exactly popular or anything. He's got, what, 3,000 subscribers? Still, if you want to leave actual criticism and not shout out raffles or nice five stars, go right ahead. I'll be glad to hear what you had to say. Anyway, goodbye to do. Goodbye for today. May I see you in a week's time. Or three months in one week. It's all the same to me. Really.